Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Prime. This is episode number 13 and in the last episode we defeated Thardis. And in this episode we're going to be grabbing some missile expansions. The first one is directly behind our ship here at the landing site. And it's just in that little alcove, you don't need anything but the morph ball to get it. So that's the first one that I'm going to grab. Should have gotten that earlier, but that's okay. And now we're going to be headed to the Chozo Ruins because... Um, none of these other areas have anything that I want to grab at this point, so uh, Yeah, it looks like that's where we're headed. There are definitely quite a few um, Whatchamacallits? Yeah, them. Uh, missile expansions. Could not think of the word there. Brain fart, my bad um, But anyway, yeah, there's a bunch of missile expansions um, In the Chozo ruins and I'm thinking we're going to get all the way up to uh, the first Chozo artifact that I want to grab hopefully in this episode and then in the next episode, we're going to grab a Super Missile Expansion, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it's really considered an expansion, but it's like the Super Beam. Uh, the Super Beam. Yeah, that. Don't listen to anything that I'm saying, by the way. The Super Missile for the Wave Beam. There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to figure out, but nonetheless. Alright, so. Hey, I hate these flower things. But I do kind of enjoy blowing them up. It's kind of a lot of fun. And then once we get the ice beam, we can like freeze them and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, before we head on to the Chozo Ruins to grab some missile expansions. Ah, beetles. I'm going to grab a missile expansion that I missed in this tunnel that we were in last time when we got here from Magmore Caverns. And it's just directly below here. And there it is just hanging out below this bridge. It looks like it would be dangerous down there or that there would be nothing down there, but that's kind of the point, I suppose. So yeah, we're like two and a half minutes into the video. We already have gotten two missile expansions. I have to say we're making some pretty good time here. So now I can carry a whopping, what, 35 missiles? That's just fantastic. All right, so um, since we can't go anywhere else in here, we might as well head on out um, of this door because the other one's a plasma beam door and nope I don't even care about you this time flower I don't even care I'm not even going to kill you you're not worth my time and the Chozo ruins exit is going to be this way and yay zoomer oh was I just shooting the wall for real for reals all right, well, now that we have the uh, boost ball and the super missile, there's quite a few new uh, missile expansions and things that we can grab uh, in the Chozo Ruins, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, there will be a couple of new enemies uh, throughout the ruins, including Chozo Ghosts, which we will see probably towards the end of this episode, uh, that start appearing after you defeat Flogger. I just haven't really been back here that much. I've been spending a lot of time in um, Magmore and Fendrana Drifts especially, uh, that I just haven't... Uh, spend a lot of time here to see them. So, yes, this beetle guy here is now at the uh, entrance, not the other beetles that used to be here. And he's not that difficult to beat, as you remember the first time that I beat him, although I can't seem to hit him with a charge shot here. It may just be easier to hit with a missile and then shoot him with some uh, non-charged power beam shots. And he goes down pretty quickly. And there's only one of him, so it's really not that bad. But we have this uh, half-pipe structure here that... Uh, we've kind of been ignoring and as you can see there's the missile expansion up in the top right uh, corner there and there we go That's all you have to do to grab it So yeah, nothing special there and there's nothing else up here that it looks like so that's pretty much it That was a lot of fun And yes, there's another missile expansion over here and you can scan this tree. This tree seems to be weakened by cellular discomposition and you can just shoot it with a super missile to blow up the bark. And I should be able to make the jump from up here, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try this. There may be a better way to do this, but this is just how I've always done it, so... There we go. That was fun. And there we go. So, another missile expansion for us. And I don't even know how many that is that we can hold now. Maybe 50? Something like that. Alright, so... Or 45? I don't know. I'm getting myself confused. I don't even know how much I had to begin this video. Alright, so anyway, in this room here we have another half-pipe structure. And we're obviously going to be using it. 
And once we get up to the top, I don't know if that was the right way. No, that's the way to the other room. If you go up on the left-hand side here, we have a missile expansion. The other way will lead to another room uh, where we actually will get the super missile upgrade for the wave beam, and we'll do that later. But over in the corner here, there's also a little uh, area where you can blow up uh, part of the wall and slide on through with the morph ball to get another missile expansion. So yeah, we're definitely making some awesome time here. And I've gone from pretty much a painfully and shamefully low missile count to uh, something a little bit more respectable. So I'm not going to go into that other room that I was telling you about because uh, we're going to do that probably in the next episode. So I'm not going to worry about that at this point. I need a little bit more missiles before I want to head on through there anyway. And you'll see why next time. All right. So uh, incoming scan data. I'm not going to worry about that beetle this time. Regional climate analysis complete. Abnormally low temperatures in the Chozo ruins. And it's going to tell us to go to this room like way off the middle of nowhere that actually has an ice beam door blocking it so we have to find some other way in and it's in a room called the antechamber and yeah we are supposed to go there now but I'm not doing that at this point obviously because I want to grab some missiles and some other miscellaneous things so that uh, I'm not do stuck doing all of that towards the end of the game because that'll get boring if we do it all at once It'd be kind of ridiculous uh, so yeah, the next weapon that we're actually going to be getting as far as the main uh, storyline goes here is going to be the uh, Ice Beam. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like the Ice Beam. Um, the first couple of times I played through this game, I thought it was awful because of how slow it is. But I've come to realize it has a lot of different uh, features that I actually really like. So We'll talk more about that later, but anyway, we've got a missile expansion in this room to grab. First thing you need to do is blow up that block down near the floor. And I probably should kill these wasps, and probably should blow up their nest too. That was the worst missile shot I've ever had in my life, holy crap, okay. So there's two nests you can blow up, and that'll prevent you from getting attacked as you're trying to do this. And all you really need is the uh, morph ball bomb, so again, I could have done this a really long time ago, but... I just passed on it. I've been through this room a million times, too. But anyway, there we go. There's the other missile expansion. And, yeah, we're uh, doing pretty good here. All right, well, ah, crap, that was ugly. Okay, so moving on. I'm not going to worry about these scarabs. They'll probably hit me, but that's okay. Don't care. And we've got some shriek bats here. Again, nothing to be worried about. And... Yeah, there was a missile expansion in this room, but I got it already, so... Um, yeah, not gonna worry about that. And we're just going to continue on, and there should be another missile expansion uh, coming up shortly, so... We'll see. I'm kind of taking it as I go here. I don't remember exactly every single room by name that they're in, but when I come to it, I'm like, Oh, there's a missile expansion here, so I should probably grab that. And... Because I'm doing that way, doing it that way, I'm probably going to miss some still, but that's alright. Okay, so I might as well stock up on some missiles here since I got so many expansions. I don't know what I've been using all of my missiles on, but whatever. So apparently I can carry like 60 now, it looks like, because I have 58 at this point. So that's pretty cool. That's enough to do uh, the um, little puzzle, quote unquote, to get the super missile upgrade that I want to grab next time so we're good to go on that that part is cool I guess and I'm going to avoid this elevator because we don't want to head into magmore and in this room uh, we've been in here before I believe because there's a chozo lore in here but we've got uh, yeah all these war wasp hives so you want to going to want to blow them up first as the first order of business because they're just terribly terribly annoying that was a really bad shot but I got lucky there uh, so um, yeah, we've got, oh, a new enemy here first. New creature. Oculus, wall crawler that generates electric pulses. These things are indestructible, by the way. Of course they are. The Oculus exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it, it retracts into its impermeable shell. Keyword impermeable, so doesn't matter what you throw at it. This thing is not going to... 
die or go away. You're stuck with it. Uh, so, we have to find the uh, relics to uh, scan, and they're going to be behind these super missile things. Uh, runic symbols, that's what they're actually called. So, just use the super missile on each, because I think it's made of cordite, so... Yeah, that's two of them, and then there's going to be two more throughout the room, and they're behind one of these pillars, and they're just kind of difficult to locate. And there should be one on each side. I'm just not entirely sure which pillar it's on. There's one. Alright, so missing one more. And no, it would make sense for it to be on the other side, I suppose, right? I already got that one. Stop it, Samus. I'm going to guess it's on the other side. Did I miss it on this pillar? No. no. Ah, there it is. Okay. I probably looked right at it earlier and just didn't notice it. But anyway, that opens um, the little door that was covering the spider ball tracks. And now we can take this upwards where we couldn't before. And we're going to have to watch out for these oculus and jump in between spider ball tracks quickly so that we don't get hit. Because if you get hit, you're most likely going to fall down and have to start all over again and that kind of sucks and these blocks also are destroyed by your bombs so yeah you're going to want to make sure you get it right the first time so once we get to the top it's just another door and yes that was the chozo ghost that i talked about and they have infiltrated the sun chamber uh, which is where we're headed next and that's where we actually um fought flagger if you remember correctly um yeah we did this not that long ago so, ah, did not mean to do that. Jump up there, Samus. There we go. All right, so as we enter, and on the flower where Flagger was, we've got three Chozo ghosts that kind of appearing out of nowhere, and these things can be difficult with our current weapons. Chozo ghost, spectral entity, bioelectric field, invulnerable to natural energies. Fantastic. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with x-ray scanning, which we don't have. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon in the Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares to enter the area and that would be us in this case so you can hit them with missiles and um, you can hit them with super missiles you can hit them with charge beam shots but that's pretty much uh, the only thing you have to use against them at this point and you can't track them because you don't have the uh, x-ray imaging that they were talking about so in a lot of cases they're just going to surprise you and just um, not going to have an opportunity to uh, see where they are or where they're attacking from as they do phase in and out of existence but if you hit them with a super missile you should be able to kill them fairly quickly so since i have a lot of missiles i'm not uh too worried about it i'm just going to kind of abuse that super missile tactic and there goes two of them so we've got one more lurking somewhere and he must have been above me um where did you go where did you go and that was kind of risky shooting a super missile that far, but I ended up getting him just as he was getting ready to bolt out of existence, so to speak. And after the defeat, we'll be able to leave the room because they blocked the uh, exit. And now we can go grab this thingy, which appeared on Flagra's flower, and that is the Chozo Artifact. And it's not the Chozo Artifact, I suppose, because there's 12 of them. But, uh, yeah, we need to find 11 scattered throughout the world. The 12th will be at, um, the temple, but, uh, what you call it? The Impact Crater! There we go. And this was the artifact of Wild, so that's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of different ones that we have to grab, so we're going to be on the lookout for those. Most of them are kind of, uh, hidden and difficult to find, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But we need um, all 12 of them in order to uh, progress to the final boss of the game. So it's a good idea to be on the lookout for them while you can throughout the game. Because, I mean, at the end you're going to have to go and search for them if you don't have them anyway. So you might as well grab them, right? Alright, that's enough about that. 
I'm gonna be heading back to the Arboretum here, and there's not really anything that I have to do there, so to speak, but I'm just heading back there because that seems like a good place to stop, so I don't know. Yeah, there's not really anything else that I wanted to do in this episode, so now that we're in the Arboretum, I can probably call it quits here. We were definitely productive. We got a Tozo Artifact and a bunch. I mean, I lost track of how many missile expansions we got, but in the next episode, uh, we're going to get the Super Missile Expansion for the Wave Beam, and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for episode number 14. Game on!